Hello Youtubers, I'm Paroiz and this is our 65th video in Python GUI development with PyQt5. So in the previous video we have talked about a basic example of animation in PyQt5. So this was from the previous video that we have created a simple animation uh, with Q property animation in PyQt5. So in this video we are going to uh, a little bit talk about QML and Qt Quick. So uh, QML is a Qt markup language, it's the abbreviation of Qt markup language and it's a language that is uh, uh, similar to JavaScript uh, but it's not JavaScript. Uh, using QML you can uh, separate uh, your design from your main logic of application. So uh, you will design your uh, main application in QML and you can uh, load that in your Python file. So I will show you that uh, what I mean. Uh, first of all uh, let me create in here a new uh, so first let me create a file in PyCharm I call it main.qml like this. So you can choose from here uh, your So I want it should be text, uh, but you can uh, down. Uh, you can install the plugin of QML for uh, here in here. So you can choose text. There is no problem. And let me click on OK. So okay, now this is my QML and. Uh, Okay, so before uh, starting our main topic, let me show you that how you can install the plugin of uh, uh, how you can install uh, the plugin. So the QML plugin uh, for this. If you uh, don't want uh, want to install, there is no problem. But I want that I should have a syntax uh, highlighting uh, for this. Okay, so for installation in PyCharm, uh, you can go to the file. Uh, settings and from here you can click on plugins and from the plugins you need to a browse repository and in, in here you need to search for uh, QML and now this is QML support and you can install this so now uh, I will wait for this for the installation and now it's installing and I am waiting for the installation it will take a little bit move the water oh, I think I have a problem in here I don't know why but I will check this okay guys I had the internet uh, connection problem now it's installed and now I need to restart my PyCharm ID and after restarting that uh, uh, I will be back Okay guys, now after installation, let me uh, import uh, Qt quick. So my PyCharm is indexing, I'm just I'm waiting that it should be complete. Okay, now we are going to uh, import, so Qt quick so now you can see we have a nice syntax highlighter in here dot window and this is the version 2.2 I'm using uh, like this so now we want to create a window in here a uh, window so now you can see that the syntax is uh, like JavaScript and I want the visibility and the visible should be uh, true so it's a boolean value you can make it false or you can make it true okay so now uh, this is uh, the simple window code and now because uh, we are going to use python programming language and we want to load this and now i'm going to create a new python file 
so right click and our Python and now in here you need to give a name I want to give it main main.py okay now we have created our main.py so first you need some ports uh, from pyqt5 dot uh, qt qml uh, we need to import qqml uh, application engine and from pyqt5 dot uh, qt widgets import q application from pyqt5 dot qt gui I want to import Q icon. Uh, I will need this uh, when we. I want to upload the icon, my icon, and also import ses. So now I want to create a method different uh, QML. First, we need to create our uh, application. So object. Uh, this is our uh, loop ses dot org v argument v and now we need to create the object of engine q qml application engine okay now we need to load so engine dot load and my file name is qml file name is main dot qml now let me check if not engine dot root objects I want to return minus one uh, in the other case I want to return my application so app dot execute and now I want to uh, call my run QML method in here so underscore main Assess dot exit and run QML. So this is the code for running our QML file. Uh, I will add the source code to the video description. Uh, you will check. So let me just run it. Okay, now you can see that this is our window in QML. We have created this as the uh, markup language and this is the loading of that markup language and and this is in Python we have created the window now also you can give for example for right now uh, I need to give width and height because it's small I want to give my uh, preferred width and height for my window for this in here you can give uh, width and height uh, the width I want to give it 600 and for the height I want to give it 400 now let me run it again okay now you can see we have a bigger screen window also you can change the color of your window you can give a color so for example I want a green color let me run it again or finish with exit minus one where is the problem color green mm, close the tab let me change it to yellow so the color is not working I don't know why and uh, You give it one small color uh, yellow just run it again yeah okay, I don't know why it's not working but uh, I will check this that's uh, why it's not working so also you can give uh, for example uh, 
uh, you can give a title to your window so title and uh, I want to give you title uh, for example PyQt5 uh, QML window so let me run it now you can see we have a title of PyQt5 QML window you can add your icon if you want so for this you need to open your main.py and in here you need to you can add your icon so you can simply write app.set window icon and you need to give your icon name so q icon i think my icon name is icon.png now i want to run it again Uh, the icon is not loading. Mm, I have an icon that PNG in here. Icon dot PNG. Mm, I don't know what was my icon name in here. So let me just open my window from PyQt5. So the icon name in here oh, main window dot by yeah it's home dot png not icon now let me run it again Now you can see we have uh, an icon in here. Okay guys, now for the color of the window, I have forgot to import. Uh, you need to import another one that's called QT uh, Quick 2.3. Okay, now we need to give our color. So color yellow. Now let me run it again. So now you can see we have a yellow color window. You can change the color, for example, to green. Let me run it again. Now this is a green color. So thank you guys. Uh, I will add the source code to the video description. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe.